What's up everyone, Carter here, and in this video, I just wanna go over a little bit more about building a successful Amazon private label business. Um, I'll go over a couple of tips because I was able to build a six-figure per year business selling physical products on Amazon. You know, As a high school student, um, 17 years old is when I first started my private label business, and I was also on the varsity basketball team, so I had limited time, but you know, none of that really matters because I just wanna provide a ton of value to you in this video for free. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is I was once in the same position as you. Um, you know, I was trying to gather as much information as I could um, so that I could implement it in, you know, my current or future Amazon private label business to get the best results possible. And I've been through quite a few products, um, private label products in my Amazon crew. You know, I've had some good products where I sold, you know, hundreds to thousands of dollars a day of that product. And I had some other products that were kind of a flop. You know, I lost a little bit of money maybe. Or maybe they didn't sell as often as I thought they would, or I had some, I had some struggle just, you know, reaching that amount that I thought I was able, to, I would be able to get with that product. So in this video, I just want to break down three super important tips um, in this video that you can use and implement in your current or future Amazon private label business, so you can get the best results possible. That leads me to tip number one, and that is listing optimization. How are your customers viewing your listing? You know, how are your pictures, your title, your description, um, you know, your, I mean, your bullet points. Um, I mean, how is your listing put together? You know, is it well worded? Um, does it stand out? Um, do you have good keywords in there? Is it well written? You know, a lot of that matters. A lot of people focus on, um, you know, trying to, you know, find the best possible product, which is also very, very important. It's a very important step in building a successful private label business is having a good product. But if you don't focus on the back end, you know, having a great listing, great images, um, you're really going to struggle um, to, you know, create additional sales on Amazon for your product. Now, I do want to show you a few different products to just give you a quick, you know, visual representation of, you know, what a good listing looks like and what a good one doesn't look like. Um, so you can see that this is a pretty good title. I'm not sure what these numbers mean, but as you can see, they have 1500 reviews. I think this is one of the main competitors for their product. You can see their images are very, very nice. Great product packaging. You can see they have some really nice images, graphics, text um, to go along with their images. That's what you want to aim for. And obviously, you know, starting out, your listing might not look like that, but try to get it to the best peak that you can get for your product. Um, you know, images with your iPhone, images that your friends are taking, you know, that's that's like the bare minimum, and that's not really gonna get it done, especially when you're entering a market early, you know, where there's gonna be a lot more competitors coming in, everyone's competing, you know, trying to sell that product, trying to one-up you. Um, and if you don't have great images, you know, the customer is most likely just gonna scroll past yours, regardless of what your price is, um, you know, regardless of the, you know, the product that you're selling, the color, um, you know, if you don't have great product images and a decent title, um, your listing's most likely gonna be looked over. The second tip to build a successful private label business, and I kind of touched on this earlier, but is, you know, product research. You know, that is literally the foundation of building a successful and profitable private label business. You know, if you try to list and sell products that don't have enough demand or the competition is too heavy um, or just, you know, there's endless amount of things that could go right or could go wrong with the product, you really, really, really need to focus on your product research because no matter how good your images are, um, how many reviews you have, you know, your title, your bullet points. If there's no demand for the product, it doesn't make sense for you to sell it. Um, I'm not necessarily saying you need to go and sell this blackhead remover vacuum because um, as you can see, it's very, very competitive. Um, but one thing I see with new Amazon private label sellers is they're doing their research and they come across a product and like the numbers are amazing. You know, it's doing 20, 30, $40,000 a month. Like, man, you know, if I could do that with that product, you know, it would change my life. And what happens is every single new seller and everyone's mom and all the big sellers in the market are also all going after that product. Um, and it's just going to be very, 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 you know, difficult for you, at least for a new seller or someone, you know, who has limited capital to invest in the business, you know, to really get an edge over the competition. Um, you know, those sellers that are experienced, sellers that have all their strategies down and a ton of income, you know, to put in the PPC, you know, to get the best listing possible, um, you know, to order the most units they can get the lowest price, you know, they're going to be very, very hard to compete with. Um, so I say for your first, you know, product or first couple of products, um, really, I mean, don't set your standards low, but set a reasonable goal. You know, try to reach maybe $30 profit a day for your product. 
you know, that's what a thousand, just under a thousand dollars profit a month. You know, you get five of those products. That's five thousand dollars a month um, when you put it into the long term perspective. And I mean, thirty dollars profit a day. I feel like that's very, very reasonable. I mean, you're making five dollars profit per unit. You just need to sell six units a day. Um, so once you really break the numbers down um, and make a goal, it's going to be a lot easier for you to have success. The third tip um, and what I've had great success with and I've heard and seen other sellers have great success with is bundling and finding a way to differentiate your product from the competition. And that's huge because, I mean, I looked up blackhead remover. You know, there's thousands and thousands of people trying to sell this specific product. But if you can find a way to be unique, find a way to stand out and to offer something that no other competitor has, that's a competitive advantage and that's going to allow you to, you know, charge a higher price point, um, you know, create more sales and be able to compete at a level that others can't. Um, for example, everyone's trying to sell this little vacuum product, but you can scroll down and you can see, you know, here's a listing right here. You know, they're bundling together some extra, you know, extractor tools um, with their product. You know, everyone, everyone's coming with a basic little four piece head. And here's some more of those extractor tools. Um, you know, this one right here looks like it has some other bonus products. Um, you can see right here, it looks like it's got blackhead remover cream. It's got some little toppers that look like it also goes on the top. That's what it differentiate. All these other listings, no one else has blackhead remover cream. That's definitely an advantage. And even if it does cost an extra, um, you know, two or three dollars or four dollars for that unit, look, they're charging a lot higher price point than all of these other sellers. Um, you can see they're having some pretty good success at, you know, just under 1,200 reviews. So, I mean, you could differentiate in a ton of different ways. You know, you could bundle bundle together like a complementary product. Um, you could go after a different size, a different color variation, you know, a different model. I mean, there's so many different ways to differentiate um, and or just bundle an accessory with it. It just makes sense. Um, and it's a great cheap way and a great unique way for your listing to stand out from the competition. Now, the reason I made this video is I just wanted to give you guys kind of a, you know, a proper understanding of, um, you know, uh, building a successful Amazon private label business. I tried to give you a few different tips that I've personally experienced. Um, and that's just my experience. You know, this could vary from different Amazon sellers, but I'm just trying to be transparent um, and honest about, you know, my experience as a private label seller, you know, what I've had success with, what I've experienced. And just to, you know, share my experience with you. So, I mean, don't take shortcuts, um, you know, don't take the cheap way um, and just be unique and creative in the way you create your listing on Amazon. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you are interested in potentially learning and starting and building a successful private label business, I do have a program below where I do just that as I mentor my students. I'm going to help guide them along their journey as an Amazon seller. So if that is something of interest to you, I will have a link below in the description of this video to my program. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to give a few different tips of, you know, just being honest of, you know, what I've seen and what I've had success with. Um, so hopefully you can implement that in your, you know, current or future uh, Amazon private label business. So if you did get any value from this video, please drop a like on this video below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, comment below if you have any questions regarding anything I went over. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to see more content just like this, on how you can start, build, and run a successful Amazon business, eBay dropshipping business, or any business online that you can create an additional income with, then subscribe to this channel, and I'll see everyone in the next video.